One of the nice things uh, in my early days when I start seeing some of uh, the sons of friends of mine uh, become athletes in high school and, and star in high school, and, and, and especially some of my neighbors. You know, it was, uh, it was a great thing for me then. Guy Valvano was fresh out of high school when he started as a copy boy for the Scranton Tribune in 1946. And when the late Chick Feldman brought him into his sports department three years later, Guy never expected his career to span parts of six decades. I enjoyed the work very much, so I figured uh, I'd probably uh, wind up sitting behind a typewriter for years and years. And, you know, in, in Chick Feldman's case, he was our sports editor. People used to ask me uh, over the years, when is he going to retire? When is he going to retire? And my response was, uh, Chick is going to die behind the typewriter. And, you know, uh, not to say it was prophetic, but here it happened at Madison Square Garden. He was sitting at ringside punching on a story in a fight involving Tommy Hicks. While he's met and written about hundreds of national sports figures, most of Guy's career has been spent writing about local athletes, particularly those in high school. And over the years, he's seen the effect increased media coverage has had on the kids. It's brought kids uh, closer together. I notice in, on the high school scene, uh, there are kids from one school, like kids from Dunmore would know the, the players from Valley View and uh, from Riverside in those areas, and they're all good friends. On November 14th at Genetti's in Dixon City, a testimonial dinner will be held in honor of Guy Valvano. It's a fitting tribute to a man who has, through his words and his actions, given a lifetime of service to the local sports scene. Sid Michaels, Eyewitness Sports.